All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about OneDrive, and I'll do my best to explain it so you understand it. it. It's not that confusing, but some parts of it can be. OneDrive is basically a file synchronizing program that uh, you install, and you can synchronize your data between your computers, your phone, uh, tablets, whatever. And there's OneDrive for home and OneDrive for business. And there's a little bit of a, a difference in the two, of course, and I'll explain that as we go here. Uh, OneDrive is kind of like Dropbox, and there's tons of other file synchronizing programs. The, the problems that some of my clients have had with OneDrive is that it never stops synchronizing, and it can cause a lot of problems. Uh, a lot of people sometimes like put up a lot of data in it because you can. They give you one terabyte of space. So people will put up like a, a half a terabyte, which is thousands of files, and it just never finishes synchronizing. And sometimes if you have really old data, the file names won't synchronize either. So it can be really problematic. And I'll, I'll be honest, some of my clients that call in with problems, I tell them just move to Dropbox. And they do because there's uh, the team Dropbox and there's other options now, and it just works better. But OneDrive works great for some situations. Like OneDrive in the cloud is awesome, it works great. <laughs> but most of my clients want it on the desktop and for it to synchronize. And um, on the Office 365 business side, here's what I try to tell people is, OneDrive is meant for you as an employee on your, you know, on your whole company's Office 365 for you to share it with yourself. So it's kind of like your own private file sharing. The, the OneDrive is not intended for a team. There is team sharing with OneDrive, but generally with what you buy, it's just supposed to be for yourself. So a lot of my clients will call in and say, well, we're having problems with permissions and sharing and all this and that. And I said, yeah, because you're using the wrong version. And I don't work with bigger companies that have the team OneDrive, so I really can't speak upon that and how they set it up. Most of my clients are 10 employees and under. And so you know, they call me to fix things they're having problems with. And I tell them, here's your solution and here's what I would do if I was in your situation. <laughs> um, you can also purchase OneDrive alone too. It's not a product you have to purchase. And uh, I think, you know, I always try to just to manage the expectations with people before they buy it, what it does and what it doesn't do. So I just told you that and uh, what to expect out of it. And if there's problems, you know, it can take a technician a long time to fix a OneDrive issue, and that's costly, and you're already paying for the product from Microsoft or whoever, so you got to you know, keep that in mind that uh, to have that repaired is very expensive sometimes. Not all the time, but it can be. Uh, so I can't think of anything else about OneDrive, really, um, except it's just private cloud space. People that use it online, I never hear a problem with them because everything online kind of always just works. You know, I've never had to fix something online that I know of. And if you did buy it from Microsoft and you have a problem, make sure you call Microsoft support because they, you know, they, they, they created it, they sold it to you, and you should call them for assistance. Okay, folks, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.